Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So before I uh, go on this episode, which is about us going to war with the Abbasids, because that's what we're going to be doing, and then possibly taking some other people's lands, I should mention that clearly this series is starting to wind down. We are uh, doing a great job conquering Africa, which was my goal. The goal I set out at the beginning of the series is to take all of North Africa. We're pushing into Egypt. Uh, we're about to start pushing into Sudan. And then, you know, Somalia and all that good stuff. So I think this is a great time to start thinking about what the next playthrough I should do is. Because uh, once I finish this, I'm probably going to stop. I don't usually just keep going because I find people get bored once you get to the sort of steamroll phase of the game. We're already pretty close to the steamroll phase of the game. So some of my options are... Well, first, you could tell me what you think. You could be like, dude, I really want you to come here and be the Venetian Republic play Venice, try to take over the Holy Roman Empire, or something fun like that. That's one option. Uh, you know, I could be the Zoroastrians and try to uh, play the Zoroastrian start or the Jewish start. Both of them are fun but and challenging. I think the Jewish start is a little overplayed just because everybody was doing it when uh, Sons of Abraham came out. Uh, another option, one that I'm leaning towards, is the uh, One Province Challenge which is where you start as a province, and your goal is to, to, to do something miraculous. Uh, either, you know, you it personally, it could be, you know, like to become a king or become an emperor or something like that. But the exception is is that you never hold more than one province. So you're a one-province duke, you're then you become a one-province king, and so, yeah, that's the goal. Um, it's difficult, you know, depending on if you start as a count, because of how you, you can't have vassal counts if you're a count then it becomes very difficult to take more land and become strong enough to take your kingdom or your, your duchy. So yeah, there's lots of cool stuff that you can do to try to take over in the One Province Challenge. And of course, there's other ways you can do it. So that's one option as well as the One Province Challenge. But anyways, let's focus on this playthrough. Uh, this fight should be pretty easy, I think. And the reason I think it's going to be pretty easy is because we are... Uh, well, first, the Abbasids are at war, I think, still with the... Uh, with somebody else, yes, they're still at war with the Jazerids, which means their their bulk army is somewhere down here. Uh, next, they took a big punishment in their on their failed jihad. And then the next reason I think that they're not that this war is not going to be too difficult is that I don't think they're going to have a chance to get any sort of force down here to stop me in any reasonable period of time. I think I can uh, because these provinces all suck basically. I think I can. Uh, assault all of them and basically be able to conquer everything before the Abbasids even really have a chance to react. This is sort of the blitz. Oh, let's go up to speed three. Uh, this is going to be the blitz of of this game. So yeah, I don't think this is going to be a problem at all. I kind of feel bad for the Abbasids. And it's kind of funny that I can't actually, uh, I can't finish these sieges quite fast enough. I, I find that a little hilarious. But whatever, we'll, we'll get them done. We'll get her done. Alright, so we get, uh, we're going to start sieging this in a second here. Perfect. See, look, we're already at 50% war score, and there's no Abbasid army in sight. Um, and I don't think there's going to be an Abbasid army anytime soon. Please don't become gluttonous. Temperate's fantastic. Are you my heir? This is my other son. We'll still become temperate. Oh, he's not gluttonous, so that's fine. Um, we've already pretty much taken half of uh, what we need to take here. Oh, no. <laughs> that was did the wrong button. That would have been just a hilarious misclick. Um, goddamn Vikings. Vikings are raiding me. Nothing I can do about it. I have a war to win over here in the east. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to win this war. Did I say war? We're going to win this war? This siege will probably be enough to end this. That's what we're hoping for. Um, my son, my heir and son, is brave. That's a good trait for him to pick up. Would like him to, him to get temperate or patient. You know, or any of those other great traits. Come on, there's got to be something I can take down quickly. Yeah, good. There we go. So this, there goes the, uh, the war. The war's over. See, I told you. Easy peasy. Maybe five total minutes if you include declaring war on the last episode. Uh... And, and then, of course, my, my rambling on about what's going to happen. Next thing we need to do is give get these people to give me their lands. So, um, revoke title. Yeah, you need to give me your lands. 
Provoke title. Provoke title. Yep. And then you. Come on. Come on. That's me. You want to talk to me? Oh, wait, I already got that. Oh, it's this one's left. Oops. Provoke title. Adyaba. Yes, I've become the sheik of all sorts of great things. Um, alright, cool. So I got rid of all the, that, or I've stolen all that land. Pause the game real quick while we do the always uh, standard here. Um, uh, give land away. Not a ruler. My religion. My culture is an adult. Um, well, actually, we can do any here. Let's see what we find. A lot of ambitious characters is a big problem we're having right now. You can have, um, give you the coastal province. Yeah, that's going to be probably the best one since you're the best character. Banu, I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you Dotau, which I think is probably the second best province. No. Do, 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 do. Come on, gotta find some more non. Here's one, Demba. You're gonna get a uh, Nobadia, and then finally, Somba is gonna get Nubia. All right, cool. So we've given up all the excess land in Africa, and now we're gonna just let this tick up for a second. Um, we'll let our so our soldiers back home tick up for a second, and then we're gonna go to holy war against Axum, um, for the, this big chunk of land right here. Uh, the big problem, of course, going as we push further south into Africa is that this is all myophysite or, or monophysite. Uh, either way, they're going to come, probably come in on the war against us. Uh, and that's not good. I mean, generally speaking, each of these each of these provinces aren't particularly strong, or these empires aren't particularly strong. The problem is... Uh, this one, but the combination of them, because I believe, I believe the Abbasids have maybe uh, ten thousand men. I can actually look right now. Um, yeah, they have ten thousand men approximately. So yeah, they're a troublemaker. Now this did remind me of something though. We have this this Lord Mayor, who I want to turn into, who I want to make a merchant republic, and we're gonna do just that. Uh, so watch this. We have created the Merchant Republic of Triple Otania. Uh, we have a guy, some new great houses, and the interesting thing here too, we're gonna transfer him back to my uh, brother. My, my brother? My nephew. Yeah, we're gonna transfer him back to my nephew because I don't wanna deal with him. Uh, the interesting thing about the Merchant Republic is, is that there doesn't seem to be any others seems to be zero merchant republics out here uh, which means that we could become very strong well, we know there's at least one right here so that's that's theirs the and th they've pushed well in there but that gives us you know all of North Africa to really work with is there one up here too no sometimes there's a merchant republic up here but doesn't seem to have happened anyways let's get ready to go to war with uh, Axum we're just gonna do that right now I love their little their, their coat of arms is pretty cool um, holy War for bleh, that huge thing there. Pause that and get our army headed in immediately. We're probably going to need to raise up our levy as well, so I'm going to do that in a second here. I just wanted to see where my where my converter dude is. Awesome. Um, and then yeah, let's let's raise up our troops. And let's raise up our boats. One. Two. Let's get all these boats raised up. Eventually, I'll get the uh, keyboard shortcuts mod, or the uh, and I really want the better borders mod as well. Um, yeah, eventually, I'll get all those mods. You guys don't need to come. Stop walking. Stop walking. You guys just can board your own boats, since uh, you're already right there. The only reason that I, I don't have everybody board the boats is because. Um, because this guy has crappy, crappy boats in his province. So yeah, we don't need everybody to board the boats. 
Just looking to see if anybody's leading armies. There's a guy here leading armies, so you resign, please. You're leading an army, you can resign as well. And then you, so yeah, this guy's the slow, the slow bastard. People revoking titles, yep, people are joining the Holy War. There's a Jihad for Andalusia. Is that against me? What? They're coming against me? Oh, come on, guys. This is not a good time for a Jihad. I have a war to win right now. Um, what this does do mean is that... Uh, Hello, everybody. Um, okay, so you need to get on the boats. I need these two armies to get on the boats. And then I'm going to have to get all the other armies together. God, this is going to take forever to get these armies together. God damn jihad for Andalusia. Did not need that right now. I have a, I have a war to win. <laughs> got a war to win, and I got to do it quick here. Yep, somebody is revoking. They're revoking all the stuff down uh, in the lands beneath me because all that stuff is the wrong religion. All that land that I just conquered. All right, so you come down here to fight this war with me. You help me crush enemy forces, and then now that you guys are on your way, you're just going to chill there, because I'm not getting you off that damn island. Um, everybody else, I want you all to come here. You stay there. You guys are all going to here. Got everybody on the move? Alright, we got everybody on the move. Who has joined the Jihad? That's the first question. The Emir of of Mallorca. So wait, so far the only person in the Jihad is this guy? Well, that's not bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually really good for me. It makes everybody love me. Um, the only real problem is this war right here. So the sooner I can win this war right here, do you have weak defenses? You do. The sooner I can win this war right here, the better. 15th of May, 10th of May, they're going to escape. You're not, though. Alright, let's go into Abyssinia. The big problem is watching out for that huge army that we're waiting for. Wow, I was. This jihad is actually not nearly as uh, terrifying as I thought it might be. Now that I know no one's in the jihad. Oh, yep, they're coming to bring more guys, but uh, it's not going to matter. Good, we've won the first major battle. Now we'll come down to Afar. <laughs> Not a close. Oh, they got away. Where'd they go? So Afar is there. We'll catch them in, uh, in this next area. They do have a defensive bonus here, which is not good. You can become humble, or you can become proud. Uh, either way. What is the deal? Oh, it's mountains. That's not good. I mean, luckily, we've already crushed their, their left, and we will crush their right soon, too. So, uh... And the Pope still loves us. So, yeah, that's uh, not, a, not a, a bad deal right there. Assuming you don't want to surrender. No, not yet. I should have another 10,000 men here now. Yep. Come on down. Cool. So yeah, this jihad, I don't think is going to be a problem. <laughs> What's your supply limit here? 24,000? Okay, cool. So the only one in the jihad is uh, this guy. He's got a, t he's a titular title. <laughs> the only thing he actually has is this piece of land here. Wow. Well, I'm going to get them boats together and boat bomb the holy hell out of him. Oh, i got to keep track of my armies. What's going on with these guys? What do we got here? 
683. Yeah, we're just going to start carpet sieging again. Try to end this war quickly. Get Start getting the uh, vassal relation bonus for being a defender. Um, you need an educator. Are you my daughter? You are my daughter. Um, let's edge. Who doesn't like me? Well, everybody likes me right now because I'm defending against uh, infidels. Yeah. Whatever. Losing a lot of guys due to attrition. Monthly attrition is almost 10% right now. 18% or 0.1%. Jesus Christ. Get, get over here. Get over here. Come on. Oh, still got that 18% attrition. I can become the Impaler? Shit. Alright, now we'll, get, we'll regain some manpower at least. Can't rush down that siege anymore because we lost goddamn twenty percent of our troops. What a ridiculous thing! Once this goes up to seven hundred, I'll rush. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we'll win this war nice and quick. People keep converting, which is also good. There is a horrible disease here. Yep, just keep winning these uh, these sieges nice and quickly. We're already at 71%. Holy crap. You're losing 20% of your men uh, due to attrition because of the disease. Jesus Christ. The disease is crushed. The, uh, yeah, diseases are not helping us here. Offer peace. Force demands. Yes, give me, give me the... Give me the lands, please. Thank you. Wow. Um, so I don't remember if I mentioned, but my EU4 series is also starting to wind down. So if you guys want to check out suggestions for EU4, um, feel free to also give me those suggestions as well. We will. Uh, I'll be discussing the end of my EU4 series probably on the next uh, EU4 episode, which I think was relative to this one, I think will probably be episode uh, 40, maybe 39. Um, so yeah, it'll be after this one comes out, I think. But yeah, check that out. Uh, give me your suggestions for EU4 as well, because that would, you know, we'll do something interesting in EU4. Probably something a little more standard this time than a conversion. Uh, so yeah, what's the best province here? One of these two. Swakin. Um, Suleiman, you can have uh, Trinkat. Trink Trinky Cat. Oh, look at you. You're pretty good. You can have uh, Haya. And then the other guy. You're the other guy. You get um, Kasala. Cool. I'm going to just leave my retinue down there to recharge. And now we're going to win this uh, Jihad. We probably have like a billion prisoners, yeah. Is anybody I can sell? Just, just take a quick glance. There's one. There's another one. Come on. Third one. We're going to get like a total of 30 gold here. Alright, cool. So now we have uh, 17,000 men here. Boats. Um, everybody give me your boats, please. How many boats is that? 413,000? That should be enough. Have you guys all come on down. Um, this is just very entertaining. I found there are 5,228 men. Oh, they got boats. Did you? everyone see that? They just got some boats, I saw. They're gonna go somewhere. Possibly for the war goal, at which point they're going to get absolutely and totally murdered. They have 53 boats. That's good for them. I have uh, way more boats. Get people leading the armies. And did they get on their boats? No, they disbanded their boats. Um, and we have too many people here, which is uh, ironic, but 25,000 should probably be enough to uh, win this stupid war 
Let's see. Let's see if we get crushed. We'll, we'll let this episode run just a little bit longer until I can crush the uh, Majorcan army. Um, let him rot. There's his 53 boats. I'm almost certain that he's going to get on the boats as soon as I get off my boats. We just need to let uh, our morale tick up. That's what we're waiting for here. We're going to take attrition, which sucks. Yeah, 5% attrition. Um... But I can't do anything until my morale ticks, so that's what we're gonna do. There we go, we'll uh, throw some men away. Come on. Cool. I wanna try to siege all these holdings so that I, my attrition, the attrition will go down. Uh, basically, once I own the land, I don't have to worry about the attrition. What happened to all the rest of their men? They, uh, they moved some guys. Apparently, which means I'm going to come and uh, attack this guy. But we'll find out what happens to him on the uh, next episode. So I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And on the next episode, we're going to crush the crazy jihad of doom. Until then, I will see you all next time.